going on guys? It is your boy Ruben here back with another video today We got a reaction to this new Adidas promo featuring the man of MLB right now Fernando Tatis Jr. El tipo es increíble Lo que puede hacer en el campo es con el bate nombre ni me digas Vamos a ver este promo a ver qué dice Adidas And you have seen a couple clips online It's incredible let's check it out I think it's really cool the pictures from this Man, Tatis has some swag. Let's check it out. Alright guys, we'll watch it once all the way through and then I'll go back and talk about it. Here comes Tatis Jr. This is one of baseball's most exciting players, right? Sure is. Here we go again. This Tatis fella. Come like a bring it on as I am swinging. Yeah, against my Rangers. Oh, crap, my bad. Baseball's dead, long live baseball. I did as yes he does. All right, let's go back. Is I... my gosh. Very old school. Yes, he's swinging and he's hitting bombs, grand slams. So he's, I'm sure you guys know about it, but talking about when Fernando Tatis hit a grand slam with a 3-0 pitch, which means three balls, no strikes, and typically people don't like take take a pitch just to, I don't know, give the pitcher a chance. I don't know. It's pointless. It's stupid. But he swung at it, hit a home run off my Rangers. It hurt. But even I was like, good for him. Like, go get it. Like, people come back from six, seven, eight run deficits, and that's what we were down by. Um, and I don't understand, man. I, our manager got mad, Woody. Um, he got mad about it. Um, and, and it sucks, man. It sucks because you could even see, um, like John Boy said, they were talking to him in the dugout right after it happened, just like why he shouldn't do it. Um, you know, they said they were going to talk to him. He even apologized afterwards. It just sucks that he had to do that, man. Let the kid play. He's playing with swag. He's scoring. He's trying to hit some home runs. He's leading the league in home runs, trying to keep up. It's just dumb, man. They're not rules. They're not written anywhere. You show me a rule where it's written, that's a rule. If it's not written somewhere in a book, in a rule book, it doesn't exist. Ma'am, ma'am, with all due respect. Nah, he bringing swag. <laughs> that is such a grandpa thing to say. Go flip some burgers if you're going to be flipping some bat. That is hilarious and such a grandpa thing to say. Um, flipping bats, I love it, man. I, I think it's awesome. They've been flipping bats for years, not as often as in now current times, but people have been flipping the bat, man, and it's just, it's fun. I want to flip a bat. Next time up, you're going to get a ball in your ear hole. Now, that right there, that was risky by Adidas. John Boy, what do you think about this? John Boy, I don't know if you're going to do a whole video about this, but throwing a ball at somebody's head is a huge no-no in baseball. It causes fights. It causes hatred. It just causes... It, it can cause injury to the player. It can hurt somebody really bad in somebody's career. Mess them up in the head. You're hitting somebody in the head brain mess mess them up permanently so for him them to say you'll get one in the ear is very risque you know what i'm saying i think a better thing what they would should have put in there is you know you'll get one in the ribs man getting hit in the ribs that hurts that's painful you know you generally go for the thigh or the butt but that doesn't really hurt that doesn't really say much unless it's like ronis chapman throwing 100 miles an hour but at the head that's risky by adidas I don't know. What do you guys think? He's a hot dog. 
Yes, listen to your manager, listen to the coach. But the coach needs to understand, times have changed. Chicago White Sox went old school this year. And we'll see how that works out. All the old school rules are going to be back for that team. I don't know. Who knows? Luis Robert, ¿quieres venir con los Rangers? Vente para acá. Acá te dejamos hacer lo que tú quieras acá con los Rangers. Vente. Baseball's dead, long live baseball. Man, Fernando Tatis Jr. Yo no entiendo cómo pueden dejar que todos estos old school rules affecten el juego así. Let me know what you guys think about all this. Did you like the video? Did you not? Do you agree with the old school rules? Do you not? I agree with like 1% of the old school rules that I think that should stay. But 99% of them I think need to go. It's time for baseball to change. Baseball to evolve. We're getting younger. We're getting stronger. We're getting faster. The game's getting faster. I think it's, it's about time for a change. I'm glad I'm here for it. I'm glad I can bring you guys some more baseball content. Please follow me on my, on my social media. It's all under Mexican Rupert. TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, everywhere. Guys, I've been, been influenced for the past couple years and I've switched to baseball because that's what I love and I hope you guys can join on this journey. Until next time, please let me know if there's another video you want me to react, another discussion you want to have. And to all my ball players, MLB players, keep playing how you want to play. Keep showing that swag. Don't be disrespectful though and just work hard, play hard. Because if I was, in, if I was on your team, I'd be coming for your position, bro. Guaranteed. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wish. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe if I tried really hard. Don't give up, Uber. Don't give up.